Hi guys, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. And today we are going to be doing a reading on what's hidden from you. Something that you're not aware of. Something that will come to you. But if it is about looking for a certain kind of an answer. So I have three bracelets as option for you today. So pile one is this fluorite bracelet. Okay. Pile two is this uh, evil eye bracelet. And pile three is this rose quartz bracelet. So we'll look into directly the messages. Uh, what's hidden from you at this point? If there is something that you're uh, looking for an answer for, or if there is a particular message that you're looking for, guidance, all of it you're going to find here. But majorly something that you're not aware of. All right. What's hidden from you right now? So I'll begin with pile number one, the fluoride bracelet. Okay, what's hidden from you? So I'm going to first use the enchanted map oracle cards. What's hidden from you right now? If there's a dream on your mind, I can just see that you've been wanting to do something maybe accomplish something or start something you've been daydreaming about it you've been thinking a lot about it that has been going on in your mind there has been q a there's been a lot of uh, interaction you've done research you've tried to figure out if this is going to work out in your favor or not all that you've done okay i see that Within the next two months, somebody will step in in your life who's going to pave the path for moving ahead in this dream. I see that this person will be somebody who you probably will have a lot of knowledge exchange with. This person will have a lot to tell you as well. Um, they are going to help you plan this out. They will also give you a reality check. And I'm also seeing that if there have been people in your life who've told you that, okay, don't believe in your, don't, this is not going to work out, etc, etc. Please don't pay attention to those people because they are coming from a very negative headspace. Okay. I see that the idea that you have will completely, completely work out in your favor. It'll fully work out in your favor. It's like that this person steps in and they are going to also invigorate some of your hidden skills. They are going to probably push you also to do certain things which can make you feel a little triggered and you might feel a little weird about it. But it's all going to take you to a better place and this is what is hidden for you. Probably for some of you, I think you already know this person and this person irritates you and you feel irritated about this. Let me see what is this completely about. What is this about for me? This is about your destiny. This is about your purpose. 
and people who connect you to your life purpose are usually people who you have a very deep soul bond with could be your soul family could be someone with whom you share a very deep connection okay and this is happening so that you're able to polish yourself somehow so if there's a tough time going on um it's because you're being polished for something bigger there you go there is a lot of abundance on its way for you there is a lot of uh, clarity flowing in very soon for you you'll feel very happy about this whole thing as well but let me see a little bit about this person who is this person that we are picking up on all right so it's a message please don't get triggered if you have if you start to develop expectations around having a life with this person then you're mistaken this person is just a catalyst in your life to push you towards where you're supposed to be that is it i don't see a future like you know a, a happy life etc etc even though i see that this person would also start wanting it but it's not for that and i know that we encounter relationships like that in life but then this particular connection is just for you to be pushed ahead in your life to do what you're meant to do this person will make you realize your true value which is why all the trigger and all of that basically i'm seeing that um in fact it could be a scene where this person will offer you a relationship on the side or maybe not a commitment but just a relationship you will not choose that and this is going to be the first of its kind like maybe in the past you never ever had the capability to be able to make this choice and you will do that I'm also seeing that this person is very attached to you and which is why they are not focusing on any other thing at this point and just the bond that they have with you and what they do with you basically um they're very focused on you this person is very focused and it's a it's basically a connection for both of you it's something to do with this person as well they also have their own journey in this situation but I'm not getting into that because we we're talking about you So majorly what i'm seeing is that this person also has some karma with you. So which is why all this is all this thing is being knitted together. But let me see what does this person have. Here. Yeah, I think they have to walk away from something. Yes, they've been hiding their emotions about something. Maybe they were they have some feelings attached to a particular situation, but they never had the courage to speak up for it or anything. So now I am seeing that they want to move forward, uh, and it will be you who's going to be the reason. But I don't know if you are going to choose this and at this point you might find this to be triggering but I think you will spiritually mature up and you would know that why has this uh, connection come in your life why has this thing happened in your life and what are you supposed to do in this situation that will come to you naturally in this time and this what's hidden for you so if you're triggered if you're not believing in your dreams this person is pushing you and they might do things that you might feel very angry about but it's all happening so that you move in that direction of doing that thing which you're meant to do something to do with i'll just try to see if i can pick up something what this is water um taking a risk in a particular direction 
um, knowing that you're protected and taking this risk of sorts, something like that. For a lot of you, this, this could be a career path of manufacturing something that people can drink or eat, something like that, okay? I mean, it can be anything, but I just try to pick up certain things that I can. It could also be to do with edibles, something that you will be making as a, it's an idea, maybe a home kitchen or whatever it is, those kind of things. Okay, pile one, that's what I have. I hope this helps. Let me know. All right, take care and I'll talk to you soon. Private readings are open. Hoping to hear from you guys. Bye-bye. Okay. Pile number two, whoever chose this beautiful Nazar bracelet, or I mean, we call it Nazar bracelet at MBM. It's also the evil eye bracelet. So let's see what's hidden from you. what's hidden from you the path to love for you Pile number two. What's hidden from you over here is that you have to conquer your inhibitions. You have to conquer your mind made fears in order to get to the love of your life. This person could be a number eight, 17, but I'm seeing that there is a lot of fear in your mind attached to this particular thought that we cannot be together, something like that. You think that way, that's not possible. But these are all uh, fears that have been made in your mind. The other thing that I'm seeing is what lies on the other side of these fears is your true partner. And I think around the month of August, you will meet this person and this energy is going to become more and more intense as time passes. I see that you will be able to look through certain things and I feel that somebody is playing a role over here in creating this dragon's liar in front of you. Could be a parent, could be your upbringing, could be anything. I mean, a basic barrier or a basic way of looking at things uh, which is set in a certain way for you and you have constantly believed in that. What is blocking the union between the two of you is just your way of looking at things. That is all. It is just that. There's nothing else blocking this union. A short piece of hint in your whole 
set up or in the way you're thinking or the whatever has been going on with you if you see there you will find a path you will find a path through which you can walk through and solve this problem you will find it it's not like you won't i'm seeing that you know you walk through this there is a small hint somewhere there is a small hint through which you can actually handle this situation but to also see that hint i think you will have to be a little more uh, fearless i mean you will have to take a risk of sorts to at least decide to all right let me just walk let me just move forward and see what is there so you're at this point very very scared but let's see what is this fear about first let me see this if this is resonating we will know what is this fear about okay the fear is attachment yeah the fear is opening an old door again the fear is that you might land up getting attached one more time The fear is that. The fear is that you're scared to open that door again. That's one major fear that you have and you feel that you really can't. But why? I really want to know. Is it safe for you to do this? Let me just first answer your query. It is. It is safe now. Because you're not the old person that you were at some point of time. You have changed as well. Okay? But let me see what is the... Why are you so scared? Okay, you do not want anything casual at this point of time in your life. You want something serious and you're in a very serious energy is what I'm seeing. When I say serious, what I mean is that you want something stable. You don't want uh, just relationships just for the heck of it. You're not looking for something like that. And that is why you fear this. But is this coming with a very serious note now in your life? Yes, it is. I see that this person really wants to talk to you that, you know, you've assumed so much and it's so difficult to communicate. This person is thinking of ideas and waiting for the right time to communicate with you. But I'm not seeing that it's... I'm not really seeing that you will you are actually aware of this but this person is extremely irritated because of you taking a step back um they want to talk and i don't know maybe you're taking out a frustration of your past maybe in your past someone has hurt you like this but this person wants to talk they want to talk to you and understand that how can they um make you realize that it's not about hurting you it's about exploring one thing at a time or taking one day at a time. And you are thinking it's about hurting you, like this person wants to hurt you. That's not the case. All right, pile two. That's what I'm seeing is what is hidden from you. So I feel that take a step forward and at least, I mean, I was just telling this to a client of mine the other day that till the time you don't take the car out, how would you know whether you know how to drive or not, right? So take little risks are fine in life. You don't have to go and like fall in love right away. 
but take that small risk to at least understand whether you can find that happiness somewhere or not okay pile 2 that's what i have i hope this helps let me know uh take care and i will talk to you soon all right bye bye All right, let's move to pile three. Whoever chose this rose quartz bracelet. Okay, let's see. What is hidden from you? What is hidden for you, pile number three? I'll take this. The step that you take now will define the way forward for you. It's a very crucial time for you, pile number three. Whatever you do right now is going to pave the path for what's coming ahead for you. And I see that you are stuck in a place where you're about to change something or you're about to like probably make, or choose a life, a career path for yourself or you're about to just make a shift somewhere. And it's tough, but the universe is asking you to be open because there is no other choice. And this problem can become easier for you if you stop resisting it so much. You're trying to look for an alternative, but this is something that is destined for you is what I'm seeing. So if you're feeling uh, uncomfortable energy, it's because you're resisting this change. This shift has to happen. And one more reason why you could be feeling scared is because you don't know what's on the other side. And it's very normal to feel this way, right? But, but the whole thing is that it's, it's finally time for, for you to take something up in your life. One more thing that I pick is take it's it seems to be like taking a risk for you at this stage, but um, I think this is like a destined path for you. I'm emphasizing on it because it's time about time for something. Let me just see a little more through cards. Yeah, it's time for you to end something and use that idea. You'd been get, probably getting some kind of dream spile three and it's asking you to follow that dream. You have to put an end to a situation. It's high time you understand something about a particular situation that probably you're not being treated well over there. Yeah, and you deserve something much better. And that's something that you have to first evaluate for yourself. And then only can things move forward then only can some action be taken because it's been there for a while and it's been there because you've allowed it to be there. When you take this action of ending this situation, I think a lot of people will be hurt. You will not feel happy about it. 
all that can happen but what i'm seeing is it is setting the course for a better life for you it is setting the course for a better life for you and moving ahead in that direction will is the only way forward like sometimes you reach that point where you know you have to have that confrontation you have to have that big mighty talk and it's time over here as well i think you've been a overgiver in a situation where it's now too much for you to handle and you really can't go on like this cuz um, you won't feel happy It's about this reading for you is a more more like a information that you know you probably are just standing in one place and you're not doing what is needed to be done so what's hidden is basically there is no choice and even if you try to resist it it is only going to become more and more tough for you so stop doing that and move forward because there is something over there that you need to do okay Yeah. You will win this I, I don't think that you will be uh, lost in this situation. No, you will come out victorious. You will feel happy. I'm seeing that a part of you will uh, resonate with the more you keep moving forward, you will feel those soul chills and you will find the connectivity. So I don't think you're supposed to worry so much at this stage. Stop resisting, start widening up. It's called being wide open for a reason. Okay, pile three. All right, that's what I have. I hope this helps. Let me know. Take care. Bye bye.